we're going to be joined in the studio by a very food delicious guest. Shaking that booty all over the world as one third of Destiny's Child, Michelle Williams is now whipping up a storm as a solo star. Hey! So Michelle's in the studio right now and she'll be chatting to us and will be performing her brand new single. Can't wait for that. And talking to performances, Jessie J. No doubt has lots of gossip too. She was in one of the biggest, if not the biggest girl groups of all time and has since gone on to be a huge solo success too. Hey, I bought a few of their albums, don't worry about that. We're talking about the one and only Michelle Williams, but before we meet her, take a look at this. We all know Michelle Williams is one third of Destiny's Child. Alongside Beyonce and Kelly, the girls became one of the most successful groups in history, selling over 40 million records and even winning a Grammy Award for this song in 2002. Since taking a break from the band, the girls have also enjoyed solo success. And after treading the boards on Broadway and London's West End, Michelle has now released a dance track with German DJ's Electric Giant Beats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Michelle Williams. <laughs> Michelle, great to have you on the show. You're here to promote your new single, On The Run. We're going to have yes. a quick look straight away. Awesome. Video over in a beef now. Did yes. you have fun out there? I had a great time. <laughs> was there like 10 days and had just so much fun. And that was me actually driving the yacht. Oh! Did you recognize a, a place in the video? I did. It's fabulous. Just where my husband proposed to me, just near there. Heaven's door. It's beautiful. Really? Mm. They say there's something amazing about those rocks that if you can get out and touch the rock, that you'll have an amazing. All right. For 10 years straight. Really? Well, <laughs> I, I've t I'll tell you now, Michelle. No, 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 no. Forget that. Forget that. Honestly. So listen, what's the song about who you on the run from? The men? Man, you know what? Not that um, <laughs> ben well, that's going to be great for when you get married for 10 years straight, because they say it stops when you get married. So, hey. Anyway, um, on the run from bad relationships and bad decisions. That's okay. what I'm on the run from. Okay. Now, I'm so, uh, well, I heard you rehearsing earlier on, and it's just fantastic, <clears throat> a really good club tune. Is this where you want to be sort of heading down more, more upbeat music now? Uh, you know, I started doing this type of music in 2008 with my mm -hmm. last album, Unexpected, so I'm going to have another album coming out in 2012. So I, I would kind of like to merge the whole dance and soul thing, and I think uh, somebody who's done that well is uh, Maroon 5 with the song Move Like Jagger. Such a great it's a dance. I didn't expect that song from them. It, you said what? I didn't really expect no. No, it's a dance song, but it still has live instrumentation yeah. on it, and that's really important to me, live music. I mean, your background is mostly gospel, isn't it? It is mostly gospel. I grew up singing in church. You know, I was in gospel groups, and gospel is my background, um, and Destiny's Child being the first R&B I've ever done, and um, Transition, my first R&B album in 2008, Solo Eyes. But I will tell you guys, today was my first time performing here Solo Eyes in London on a TV show, and I'm glad that we did it today on yeah, OK Yeah, thank TV. you very much. No, now, thank you. your new album, have you got any collaborations on there? Not yet. I haven't even officially started recording it, but I kind of know the direction. I hope it doesn't change. You know, artists always say, I want to do this, and then six months down the line when they're recording, the sound totally changes from what they said they wanted to do. Anybody so. that you'd like to collaborate with? Anybody that I'd like to collaborate with? That's a great question. I haven't even... You know what? This is a fantasy, though. He's my imaginary husband. I want to do something with Sting one day. 
I don't stay. care if I just hold his bass guitar on <laughs> stage. <laughs> I'm sure that could be arranged. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Joy, I'd love to work with you. So apart from singing, obviously we know you've done a lot of acting and you've actually been in Chicago, both in the West End and on yes, Broadway. Yes, yes. Um, I'm so excited to have the Broadway experience. That started for me back in 2003 when I did Aida on Broadway. Uh, then I did The Color Purple from 2007. You've just finished something called um, Yeah, what, what my husband, husband doesn't know. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it was June. Juicy. It was my first time people seeing me make out with right. somebody on stage. I was and like, how it's was just that for acting. You? It was great. So was he handsome? <laughs> <laughs> the wait, the making out on stage or just the man? Was he a handsome man? He's amazing. So that, made it juicy. <laughs> so that helps. You don't amazing. want any others. So performing on the West End and Broadway, well, how do they differ? I mean, different audiences. Um, I think, well, performing in Chicago, I think the humor here is so different than what it is in the States, um, but I love it. The, the respect that, uh, and the discipline from performing eight times a week, eight mm -hmm. shows a week, you know, to perfect your acting and your singing and your dancing all at the same time. I think my bum, bum rushed that stage tonight <laughs> and do Chicago again. Sure, have you been standing in touch with Kelly since her time in the X Factor? Yes, I'm so happy that we're here at the same time. I think it's real diva -fied that the both of us are here doing successful solo things at the same time. Yep. I think it's cool, but it's yes, amazing. we've been in touch. And you will you be meeting up? I hope so. I hope to see her tonight. Ah, oh, because you're performing tonight, aren't yes, you? Got yes, yes. I hope she's able to come. If not, definitely. I leave Monday, but we know we're going to definitely get together. We always get together if we're ever in the same city, even if it's just for a bite to eat or just to gossip or whatever. Now, we've saw, we saw you on Strictly Come Dancing. Mm. Have you kept in touch with anyone from the show? Are you still dancing? Yes, yes. I have kept in touch with some people from the show. Ian Wade and Brendan Cole, who is my partner. I'm trying to get him to come out tonight to the media lunch party. And um, I've been watching the show. Russell and Flavia have been uh, my absolute favorite. And, of course, Holly and Artem, because Artem, his choreography, his staging is just absolutely gorgeous. If but I was on that show this year... I would take the crown, <laughs> or is it the trophy? Whatever it is, the well, so Maybe it's a shield. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so listen, it's a, it's, a, it's a ball, isn't it? It's a the disco, disco ball, ball or something. Or something. Is, is it's that a what great it is? show this year. Um, I know you've been a judge in, in the US mm -hmm. on free talent shows, haven't mm -hmm. you? Would you follow mm -hmm. Kelly in doing it, doing something over in the UK? Um, I would love to. Anything to get me over here in the UK to help me with my shoe fetish, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, not anything, but, you know. Michelle, <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. And we look thank forward to seeing you perform so later. Thank you so much for having me. I thank appreciate you. you. Thank you. So I can't believe we're already halfway through the show, Jen. Where has it gone? I don't know, but Michelle hey. believes it's out there. Uh, but we've still got loads to come. We're going to be talking. <laughs> I'm a celebrity with Mark Ride. Chances of rumble in the jungle were cruelly dashed last night. Uh, you missed that, everyone. I just had a foot in my face. But could his <laughs> ex-girlfriend Lauren be heading down under? We'll reveal all very, very shortly. And the amazing Michelle Williams will be performing her new single right here in the studio. So don't go anywhere. I'll leave you two to it. See you in a See moment. You <laughs>